here we go. First things first. The fabric needs to be scoured first, which means boiled in water with soda ash and pH neutral detergent for at least two hours. This gets it really clean. Then we will be following the instructions in Catherine Ellis and Joy Boutrop's book, The Art and Science of Natural Dyes. Recipe 11 has a two-step process for applying tannin. And then mordanting with an alum soda ash combi combination. The pigment in the goldenrod will bind to the tannin which has been bound to the mordant or alum soda ash combination, which has attached itself to the fabric. So once the fabric has been scoured, it goes into the tannin bath for at least an hour. I foraged these sumac leaves last fall. You can also use oak gall. According to the instructions, we use 30% weight of fabric of the sumac. I have 1,000 grams of fabric, so I'm using 300 grams of sumac. The water needs to be about 30 to one water to textile ratio. So that's 30 milliliters of water to one gram weight of fabric. So for me, that is 30,000 milliliters or 30 liters. Heat the water to 100 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like hot kitchen tap water, hot tap water. Add the sumac leaves or other tannin and stir. Place the cotton in the bath. and let it soak for one to two hours at least. After this, the fabric needs to be very gently and quickly rinsed and then put directly into the mordant solution. So it's good to have the mordant solution ready already. So for the mordant, we will be using an alum soda ash combination. We use alum at 12% weight of fabric and soda ash at 1.5% weight of fabric. The mordant is made by combining the soda ash and, mal and alum. First, place the soda ash and alum in separate jars and pour boiling water into each jar and mix it up. Then combine the jars. They will bubble up like a volcano when you do this, so be careful. I didn't film that part because I didn't have a big enough jar to put them both in and so I just poured one jar into the other and it ended up being a big mess which I didn't film. Anyways, it's okay. I'm gonna just use it anyways, it's fine. So then, pour the mixture into the hot water and your mordant is ready. Remove fabric from the tannin, swish, and into the mordant. So remove the cotton from the tannin bath, swish very quickly into the rinse water and then directly into the mordant and then it sits in the mordant for two hours. Once that whole process is done, your fabric is ready to dye. So you can take that out of the mordant, rinse it, and then you can either put it directly into the dye bath or you can hang it up and let it dry. And it's, it's mordanted forever. Now, finally, you can put your goldenrod into your large stainless steel pot full of boiling water and let that simmer. Turn down the heat, let it simmer for an hour or two, or just cut the heat and let it sit, sit in the hot water for an hour or two. 
and then remove the plant material and put your fabric into the water, the dye bath, and just let that sit overnight. That's what I did. I just let it sit overnight in the hot water. And then you can take it out in the morning and it's so beautiful, yellow, beautiful, goldenrod dyed cotton fabric that you know is done correctly and will have a good light fastness because you did all the proper steps beforehand. The scouring and then the tannin bath and then the quick rinse and then the mordant with the alum sodash solution and then another rinse and then into the dye bath. And so you can feel so good about yourself doing all the steps correctly.